Hi guys, welcome back to another Week in My Life vlog. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. My name is Kinsey, I'm 24. I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm a lifestyle vlogger. Film a ton of videos. I obviously just got out of the shower. I went on a nice little walk and got coffee. Guys, okay, this is like kind of gross. Comment below if this happens to you. I need to know. Okay, I don't know if this is like a normal thing, but I find that certain cold brews make me like throw up. Like I got a cold brew this morning. I walked to get my coffee. I walked back, trying to have like a peaceful morning, you know? And I ended up like coughing it up, which is like so gross, but it just bothers me like the back of my throat so much. I know they're acidic, but it's just interesting because some of them don't do that to me at all. Like if I'm making cold brew at home, I'm totally fine. But if I get one like at the merchant, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Happy Tuesday morning, everyone. Um, I'm back from the Bahamas. I didn't vlog yesterday because I just had a lot of like catch up stuff to do, but we're back. Next week we go to New York, so I'm prepping for that. Um, I'm actually, right now, I'm about to head out. I have two appointments this morning. And then I am going to Skim Farm this morning and I will take you guys with me. I'm getting chin filler. I'll talk more about that later, but uh, we're off. What was up? We're off with my favorite cup. Okay. Mm. You know what? Way sent me this with their Byredo collab. I put in the leave-in conditioner. I'll let you guys know how I like it. Mojave Ghost. It's very popular. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about it. But anyways, this is my outfit for today. It's nothing amazing. It's honestly just so hot in Texas. Like the month of August, I don't try at all because like I'm just so hot. I need to go grocery shopping today. And I think I'm actually going to film like a grocery haul. I feel like that could be fun. And going grocery shopping to me is like kind of therapy. Like I don't know why it just really calms me down. I listen to a podcast. Comment below what you guys want to see more of in the vlogs and less of in the vlogs. Like I honestly, I feel like I've just been doing this for so long that I'm so like borderline burnt out. And I just don't even know if I like my videos anymore. Like I don't know what I want to do. So... Um, let me know what you guys want to see. Amber? Thank you. <laughs> Wait, okay, introduce yourself and just tell me the story. Okay, hey guys, I'm Julia. <laughs> I'm from LA I'm visiting Dallas. And I literally called into Kenzie's podcast because I'm visiting a guy I met on vacation and he lives in Dallas and I'm friend of with SMU. Yeah. And so we're just kind of seeing what the vibe is. We're hanging out. We're going to all the nightlife and everything. So I'm getting yeah. all the info. Okay. I answered her question on the podcast, but I forgot to send something in. So it, it, it'll it probably be like next week. It's going to be on there though. This is crazy. Oh my and God. I literally was just here with my friend. And I was like, wait, that's the girl I literally just submitted my podcast <laughs> question about this trip to. I was like, join our Geneva Dallas Girl group chat. You'll have friends regardless, even if it goes bad. Wait, what's your YouTube channel? Okay, my YouTube channel is Julia Faze. <gasps> oh my with, god. With an S. And this is my best friend, Adia. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Oh my I god. I heard so much about you from she listens to like Oh my god. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Oh my god. I'm so, so you live over here or? Oh. All right, so we are going to Skin Farm now. I'm about to put my mask on. This is the story of my life, carrying way too many things. Anyways, I'm gonna get chin filler. I wanna try it out. We'll see how it goes. It's supposed to basically like give you a really snatched jawline. I've gotten Botox before. I've told you guys this. I take you along in vlogs. So I'll let you guys know how I like it. This is like the cutest waiting room ever. I mean, this place is so freaking cute. Like, are you kidding? Hi. Also, I love the view. Turtle Creek area. All right, guys, I just finished. I didn't want to record of my chin. It feels like a little bit sore. I also just want to say, me sharing this stuff, like by no means do I think like anyone needs to get this. Am I telling you you have to at all? Like literally in the slightest. You guys are beautiful just the way you are. It's just something that like I wanted to do. I get preventative Botox and I haven't actually gotten that in a while. I'm probably due for another, but I got chin filler because I really don't love like my sister and I feel the same way. Like I don't love my like, I guess like my chin. I don't really know. I mean, um, so I decided to try it out because Skin Farm offered it to me. I do have a 10% off code if you guys want to go to one of the locations. Let me see where all they're at city-wise, actually. It was so cute. I know you guys saw it, but it was just, like, the cutest thing ever. Okay, they're in Nashville, Atlanta, and Dallas. So you guys can use my code and you get 10% off your first treatment. I was in and out in 20 minutes. I went to Dr. Lauren. I really, really liked it. Um, I really honestly had such a good time there. And I love, love, love the actual office. It was so beautiful. I know it 
means, shape, or form when I share this stuff with you guys. Am I saying, like, you have to get this or, like, these things matter or whatever. Honestly, it was offered to me. It was, like, an insecurity of mine as something that I wanted to do. And it's just a personal choice. But I also always want to be, like, honest on here about, like, what I do. Things like that. Alright, guys. So, I am so hungry um i got home i straightened some things up my eyes were like watering i'm just so hungry i did eat a lunch from trader joe's but i'm just so starving that i'm making this other frozen meal i don't really know it's some like power flower thing you guys can screenshot it if you want to try it at trader joe's but i'm making all of it because it has like the sauce and i feel like it'd be easier if i just put it all in a like box or something anyways i'm in comfy clothes it is now 2 10 p.m. I finished filming a grocery haul, so if you guys want, you guys can check that video out. And I'm going to probably edit for the next three-ish hours. I want to get the rest of my vlogs up and ready. I have one to send into a brand, and then I have two from the Bahamas. Well, the vacation prep and the Bahamas one. Get all those up. I'll feel really good about it. So the rest of the week, I can really focus on episode prep because I'm recording between 10 to 14 episodes next week in New York. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna be so tired, um, so I'm definitely taking the weekend off and I'm gonna delete social apps from my phone. Oh, I didn't end up going to, my my physical ended up getting rescheduled, so I went to La La Land this morning and I got some work done. And as you guys saw, I met some like really sweet girls who were visiting and it was so funny because one of them had literally just sent in a caller listener thing. Um, so that was really fun. I really need my food to be done. I'm so hungry. All right, guys. I just made, I forgot what it's called and I just threw it away. So I'm sorry. It's a cauliflower thing. Update on my chin. It feels like a little bit sore, but nothing bad. Also, I just want to say it is a, no, it is not a Monday. It is a Tuesday, but it's kind of gloomy outside and it feels kind of cold. Giving me a little bit of like a fall vibe. And now I'm just cut it up on my couch and I'm getting a lot done. And I just feel really good about today. <sighs> this is still really warm, so I'm not sure. Again, I'm sorry I forgot the name, but I know I already showed you guys, so it's okay. I really like it. I mean, take it. I'm also not a picky eater, but I think it's really good. Really into this. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm out of breath because I just dragged these two upstairs. My chin feels just kind of like weird so i got all three videos edited today and i feel so good also it's my first day in a long time where i've left work not feeling anxious i don't know if you guys ever get that feeling but especially when you just have been home like by yourself all day staring at a computer i just get so anxious and like feel really weird but i don't feel that way today which is a win my cousin is coming to up in 15 minutes i'm listening to dear chelsea this is like my favorite comfort listen because she reminds me of my aunt. I have these two suitcases full of things that I need to put away. I just did a bunch of laundry and I brought them upstairs with my suitcases. I'm going to do everything that I can in 15 minutes and then probably finish the rest when I get back. We're going to go at ramen. It's been pouring this afternoon, which is crazy. <laughs> Alyssa gave me my birthday present from my grandma because she was at her birthday thing this weekend and I was out of town. It's the cute little Lulu bag. TikTok <laughs> says that Lululemon is chuggy. It is chuggy, but it's the best. Shit. But I'm okay with it. Yeah, like I'm fine with it. Also, I need this for my morning yeah, walks. Mom. Like I knew I was getting this because my mom told me yeah. and I needed it this morning you for my walk. You put all your walk. stuff in there. Exactly. I will say I got coffee at the merchant this morning and it like made me sick. I'm, I can't. Oh, is that why you pulled her with? Oh, I don't know. I just, yeah, I posted on my Instagram story. You got a really lot of rough. people uh, talking Yeah, about people that. were really, they were agreeing with me. I'm All right, Lobby House, our favorite food. We got some appetizers. Go to Wabi House and get the Sukumen. I put a lot in. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like originally. It's just the best so ramen ever. I'm not even a ramen person, honestly, but I am for Wabi House. Back to the remainder of the laundry we go. I actually got most of it put away. Well, I'm already out of hangers, so 
maybe I'll go through the closet to donate some clothes this week to have more room, but here we are. Not tonight, guys. Just not tonight. I don't know what Fitz did with my pillows over there. A little bit odd, dude, not gonna lie. Guys, I know I've talked about these pajamas briefly or in other vlogs, but I just cannot get over them. These Skims pajamas, I'll probably wear the gray ones tonight. Oh my God. Okay, so I have the gray in a size small, which actually definitely is my favorite size. I got the um, like caramel color in a size extra small because that's all I had left and they still fit. Um, these are just like a little bit baggier. For the record, I would say I'm between like a small medium. Like I would probably always go medium for pajamas to have them be a little bit looser. You just have to, I'm like trying to get you guys to feel this. Like what am I thinking? You just have to feel this material. Like go to Nordstrom and oh my God. If you are looking for a good gift for someone, honestly, these Skims pajamas are just so good. All right, so here are the pajamas. I mean, truly just the best pajamas to ever exist. I cannot even describe to you how cozy they are. Oh my gosh, are you smiling? Yeah, are you smiling? What was that? Huh? Fitz is 15 months and I feel like he's teething again because he's huh? never chewed up anything until those coffee table books and he's kind of like trying to knot my hand. Does that happen? He all, they always try to sit in my spot. Anyways, I'm going to, oh, by the way, okay, Summer Fridays. I currently have a Summer Fridays jet lag mask on and this, but they redid the packaging because the product was so good, but the packaging, if you guys had it, it was just like kind of tricky. And so they listened to the consumer and they redid it, which I love. I of course have my water cup thing that I got because Tink's talked about it. I'm gonna light some candles. Um, and then honestly, I'm gonna work on my iPad for about an hour. And then I'm going to read, and it's gonna be great, guys. So. Good morning, guys. It's 9 a.m. My chin feels really weird. I walked and I got an iced matcha latte with peppermint and oat milk. Best matcha ever. I use my um, Little Women Everyday belt bag for the first time. It's really hard to adjust, so I wasn't able to adjust it. But listen, I know the Gen Zers are um, gonna like slam me because all I want is to be, you know, Gen Z and then I go and get a Lululemon belt bag. But this for my morning walks, like it is perfect. It's so small. You have one compartment here. I'll link it below, like perfect. And then one in the back that I, I don't have anything in it right now, but I mean, it's just so small and so perfect, especially when it's cold out and I'm gonna start wearing the like, hoodies and stuff. I mean, it's just like, what more could you want, you know? While we're here, I'm gonna link below this hourglass lip gloss. I get asked about it all the time. It's bright pink. It's magenta. It's an hourglass like volumizing lip gloss. It's really, really good. Okay, my chin, my chin just feels weird. Okay, I'm gonna start getting to work today. I have a lot of phone calls to make. I need to deal with tax stuff. I have a lot of, I have five episodes to prep. Just have like a lot of boring work stuff, but I'm going to Nobu tonight. So that'll be exciting. I'm also gonna make some breakfast and then I'll probably make my salad today. All right guys, I've been on my computer for probably like five hours now. I just made myself a snack. Recently my anxiety has just been pretty bad. I just have like so much anxiety around like taxes and I don't really know why because like, yeah, I have to pay my own tax. I don't understand. Like all totally fine, but also I don't know. I just feel like in August, it's typically like my worst month anxiety wise and I like don't even know what to say. I feel like I like try to open up in vlogs and I try to open up like in general, but there's just like something that I feel like stops me. Like there's like some sort of like wall in between me and like really being vulnerable. I'm anxious not only because of tax purposes, by the way, like there's actually no reasoning as to why I'm anxious. That's like what anxiety is. I think it's more so like sitting there and looking at things and just being on my computer and then just, I don't, I actually don't know what it is. It's not just that, it's like a bunch of other things. I booked myself an afternoon workout class because that'll make me feel better. So I'm gonna go to that at three. I have an hour left. I'm trying to prep as many episodes as I can in the meantime. And then when I get home, I'll shower, probably do like maybe an hour or two left of work. I'm going to Nobu because Jess is actually in town and she is touring apartments. Sorry guys, in the last vlog, I thought I said that. I think I accidentally edited out the portion where I said I wasn't touring for myself. And then I wasn't logged into like the YouTube app on my phone and I didn't have my laptop like working in the Bahamas. So I could only like reply to comments. I couldn't like comment and pin it myself with the creator studio app. I, it's like a really long story. Anyways, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be vague about that like literally at all. I think I just accidentally edited it out. 
the part where I explain myself. I'm gonna have my snack and get some stuff done. Hi guys, um, I clearly didn't go to Core Power. It is now 4.30 p.m. So, we're doing a week in my life. Um, a very realistic week in my life and it sucks because I hate feeling like all I've been doing in vlogs lately is complaining and it's not complaining honestly like I love my life it's more so just like I don't know I think mentally like I haven't been in the best spot lately and you know obviously with anxiety like there's really not a reason also I ordered Chick-fil-A because uh, I had drawers that were getting set up and I didn't want to interrupt the guys who was doing it so I ordered food because I was so hungry because I was crying so hard that I thought I was going to faint so I had to get Chick-fil-A. That's the, that's my um, good thing that came out of that, what was I say? Obviously like mental health stuff just like comes in waves. For some reason August is pretty much always the hardest month for me and I don't know why. Before it's always felt like I have kind of like reverse seasonal depression but I don't even feel like it's that. I don't know. I just get really, I feel like I'm just really overwhelmed right now. So I literally called my dad and I cried on the phone for 30 minutes. There was a man downstairs assembling furniture for me and he definitely hurt. Um, so that was a low point for me. It definitely was. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's okay to like not be okay. Honestly, if I wasn't going to New York next week, I would just take the week off. I think I honestly just need to take a few days off. Also though, something that I feel like I've been struggling with lately is like comparing myself so much and I don't normally do that, but I feel like I just have people, like friends being like, you should do this, you should do this, like this is how you grow, this is how you do this, whatever. And it's like, yes, I want to grow on my channel, and like obviously those things are important, but for some reason to me, it's just become like I've been so down on myself and so hard on myself, specifically with YouTube. I don't know, I almost feel like more far removed because of it, and then I like compare myself, and then I get down on myself, and... It's just this really bad cycle, and then I feel like no one even watches my videos, and I know I briefly touched on this, but it's only getting worse, so I'm really not trying to have my vlogs be, like, negative or complaining or anything like that, but also, like, my vlogs are my life, and I can't really fake it. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of hate being an adult. I literally just cried and cried and cried, and now I'm here. I'm gonna watch a TV show and eat my Chick-fil-A, and then I'll get ready to Nobu for Nobu in a few hours and go there. But I love you guys. Um, it's hard for me sometimes. It's like why part of the big thing that I learned in therapy about like why my where my emotions are even coming from. So I'm like I don't really know why this is like really getting to me. No, honestly, I think sometimes I can handle it and I'm totally good. And other times, I feel like just everything coming at me at once. I go crazy. Also, I haven't been doing my normal morning routine, which I know like makes a big difference. But I'm not sure how this is just now occurring to me, but I checked. And I start my period in four days, so suddenly this makes sense. But it's just like if you don't have PMDD, imagine. Oh my gosh! But so many people just yawned. Imagine just being in your worst emotional state and like in just a horrible place the week before your period every single month, and forgetting that you're gonna start your period, and so you were just trying to figure out what it is. And at least I know. So here we are, everyone. How fun. I literally want to go to bed for the night and it's 5 p.m. All right, guys, so now that I have a reason, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I just talked to my mom on the phone and I'm feeling better. Okay, so while I was having my little crying tantrum, actually, let's not call it a tantrum, actually. Um, while I was crying, um, a really nice task rabbit came over and he set these up for me. So these are just the Ikea Alex drawers. They're like the most basic old school drawers. I never plan on getting these again, but honestly, like, I just needed more of like a vanity kind of thing right here. I've been cleaning out this closet pretty much all week. You couldn't tell. Um, I need new baskets for here. Um, it's kind of hard to get the right sizes, so I'm still looking right now. Get that all like fixed perfectly because these are just extra shoes that don't fit in my closet room. And this is extra bedding that I need to like vacuum seal, but it's a lot harder than it sounds. These are like my sweats. I know it's honestly ridiculous, but like obviously this isn't really working right here, so I just needed a space to put all my hair tools. Oh, also guys, I got a set of hot rollers, which I'm actually really excited to use. I'm um, part of me is like, should I just do it tonight? No, I don't have the energy, but that will go there. This is just extra like PR. We have some whey perfume. I wish that I would have gotten rid of this carpet. It's the only carpet I have in my house still, but it just needs to go. But I just have so much stuff and honestly, like my bathroom is overflowing with stuff, so. I just feel like this is gonna help so much. This is broken. I mean, like, my life, it's a mess, guys. Like, this is. All 
All right, so this is the progress that I have made. This corner is obviously nowhere near done. This stuff just gives me so much anxiety, honestly. Um, this needs to go all the way down to the garage. These all go in the closet room. Here is the pool that I bought this summer that we haven't even used. Found my Ugg slippers. Those are back here this whole time. Again, this will all be organized in boxes and stuff. I'm really out of breath. Let's turn this light on. I don't remember how. Oh, it's literally right here. Ooh. Isn't this fun? Like, it's such a good place to do your makeup, besides the fact that this stuff is right here. I didn't think about that. Ooh. And I don't love this look right there. Not one bit. I'm gonna have to figure that out somehow. I'll have to get some cord covers or something. I started organizing this. Basically, like, this is just... No one really cares yet, but I wish that there was no carpet here. I wish that this could be, like, when I'm sitting, a cute setup for, like, get ready with me videos, but that's there, and... There's just too much in the background, so I don't know. Maybe if we did it this way, I don't know. It's from Vanity Impressions, it's where like everyone gets theirs. This was um, a really small one, so it was like way less expensive. I think it was only like $100, and you know, you can get some really big ones from them. So, yeah, there's just a lot going on here. All right, guys, this is my outfit. I got ready in seven minutes. This blazer is Nasty Gal, bodysuit is Revolve. Pants are thrifted from Junk Gold, and then my shoes are just Public Desire. Um, and then, of course, I'm wearing my chocolate brown bag. All right, I'm off for the night. Goodbye. Hi guys, I forgot my vlog camera. Um, I'm at Justice Hotel right now. We're doing the Okind Q and A, um, which is a brand that we're starting. And I'm not the kind of person who like talk, put something out there before there's like things out. But we, the purpose of us sharing this before it ahead of time is because we want to document the experience of like starting a business so that's why we shared early rather than waiting until launch because i i always wish that like a brand would have documented it you know with yeah, for, for you to look back on yeah like, oh that's a great way to do it yeah i think also we want your guys's opinions i mean yeah want, you guys to be like a huge your, part of it yeah because if we're creating product we want you guys to want to buy it and we want you to like it and just feel like you were a part of the experience with us because i think it just like, makes you feel like, oh, like they really care. Mm -hmm. Because we do, we care. Like Summer Fridays just redid their packaging on my lip balm and I yeah. posted it and everyone's like, oh my God, like that's so cool. Yeah, because it's, was a, it's a tube now that you like, yeah, put on your lips the instead of using one, your finger. Yeah. Because you, you don't think about it. Okay. Also, Jess and I are friends from college. She's oh, from yeah. Connecticut. She's moving to Dallas next month. Okay. Next month? Okay. Someone asked how we came up with the name. Uh, just did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then someone said, I'm confused what this brand is. So I think I think our TikTok is because it's kind of like a mod podge of a lot of things right now. Yeah. And I think that what we want to do right now is kind of just like cultivate the vibe. So we're not necessarily <laughs> we're here to cultivate. We're here to cultivate the vibe. the vibe. But I think like we're kind of trying to put out like what inspires us, like what we like, yeah. like clothes we like. Think of it as like a like. mood board for yeah. the time being. We actually know what we're coming out with. Right. But we'll get there when we get there. We're currently in the process of like investors, partners, right. how basically essentially how we want to structure the business. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. And then once that happens, then we'll be able to like get the ball rolling on like product. Oh, also, if you follow us on Instagram, I frequently am doing random Instagram polls. And if you feel like, and I put like ask box. So literally write in whatever the heck you feel like you guys should do this. Because someone wrote in something, I won't say what it is, but like, about something we should do and we were like oh my god that's such a good yeah. idea we didn't even think about it so i'm gonna do once this vlog goes up i'll do okay. a post on the instagram follow us on the instagram at the o kind and i'm gonna do some polls i'll do like an ask anything box and you guys can write in suggestions you have things that you want to see from us just even if you're like vibes people like styles that you like anything like we'll do i'll do a couple different things but just so we can see like what page everyone's on we just want you guys to be a part of the process and feel like we're coming out with something that like we all collectively yeah. would buy we would wear. all did that we all yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. we all can sing <laughs> jess is actually like way more into pop culture and like in the know than i am like all the things i'm a pop now culture into, resource for our friends yeah because now all the things that i'm really into like even like not skinny not fat or not but not fat or I like, technically technically i found you moth through ryan but like She's way more into like pop. Like she's knows a lot more. Than I people. love a do mob blend. I'm, I'm gonna back to mob blend merch. I am. You know, here there's always people at Katie Charlie's house. Always, there's always a spotting there. 
Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna be on Dumont. You know, Catch my friend, spotting. my friend Brooke was with another friend of ours and it was like, so and so spotted on Dumont and Brooke was there. No. <laughs> like, Brooke, you're like so close. Do you guys know what Dumont is? You should, follow, you should follow Dumont. Yeah, it's such a good follow. Like, it's I will sit there for follow. hours. I, I knew everything about Olivia Rodrigo's new album before. It's also so niche. Of... Like, I became obsessed with Formula One after I watched Drive to Survive. Yeah, it's so niche, think. and some of those drivers are so hot. That, oh. Like I love to see a blind. Like Tyler, you are going. Tyler C's girlfriend was just at ex girlfriend. Ex girlfriend, because they just broke up. She literally, I was in the first. They broke up, and she flew to one of the drivers' houses in Colorado during this <laughs> during their summer break. Yeah. Literally one two. Yeah, one two. One two. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go hang out wow. at the estate. I need in to Colorado. take some notes from her. Like I should really no. change up my dating. We life. need to get on Raya, <laughs> dude. Don't even get me started on Raya. It's tell like, them to accept yeah. me. Does any of you work on at Raya? Tell them to accept me. Yeah, actually. I have a pending request. On a, I'm on the wait list. Tell them to accept me. Tell them to accept me because I will tell you. I will set my. I'm gonna post my Geneva Go chance if anyone has friend things. Please, someone accept me because my therapist told me I need to get on a dating app. Okay, I'll tell. Them. That's a really good push. Okay. I feel um, like Raya and Dallas is so much like less dangerous of like douchebags. Yeah. If you have more questions, um, DM us. DM me, DM Kenzie, yes. DM the O kind. Maybe don't DM Kenzie. You could DM me. I'll see it. <laughs> I look through my DMs. Um, um, they give me anxiety though. Comment on our TikTok. DM us on TikTok. You would follow us on TikTok at the O kind. I'm actually going to be doing, I just bought some more books to make a book. Oh, theme. okay, good. I'm glad TikTok. you did that. Okay. I was at Barnes Noble the other day for three hours by accident. The problem is that, like, it's, I can't make book talks because I have a Kindle. That's the only con of a Kindle. I have a Kindle also, but I have like a. I have a problem that I can't go into a Barnes and Noble without buying books. And I get I was, that, and I get nonfiction books and physical. Like, yeah, I bought one. I just bought one. Wait, I bought you your Kindle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that I'm app. saying I use it all the time. Yeah. Sometimes, because I use a Kindle if like a book's on unlimited, like I'll get it for free. Yeah. But if it's not, I'm like, I might as well. Might get the book. Well, collect. I know. I understand. I get it. I like going to bookstores too. I got chin filler. Feel this knot on my chin right now. No bottom. No. Isn't that weird? Yeah, but I need to go get um Botox. Um, go the skin farm you mention my name ten percent off. We're going to Nobu. We're going to Nobu I'm Nobu so excited. You know my my first time ever going to Nobu was last week. Sorry, my first Isn't time going weird? to Nobu was probably um in utero. <laughs> <laughs> probably actually. <laughs> yeah. I like literally live and breathe. Just like we went to fine dining and I'm like I love I the love fine dining because oh, okay, well I'm I love fine dining. Like I'm from the northeast. It's just different vibes. Yeah. Like oh no, trust me, it's a very big thing here too. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's just like I like I like it. I just am not someone who like has to. Like yeah. I don't know. I need to my know family's more. just like that. Like my yeah. dad was the one that suggested Nobu. My parents yeah. also just in Miami and went to Nobu, so like he doesn't need his fix. <laughs> but you do. But yeah. let us know if you have questions. That's my. That's yeah. That's the takeaway of today. We're not trying to be like annoying and like be talking about something for so long and not have anything. It's literally for the purpose of like you guys being involved and also right. documenting the process because I always wish that someone had. So anyways, we're going to know it. All right guys, happy Thursday. It is currently 11 a.m. I was gonna go to an early morning core power class, but it was raining out and it was just too cozy. So I'm now going at noon. Update on how I'm feeling, Um, okay. I feel like I do a really bad job at articulating my feelings to a camera. And I'm so aware of like how lucky I am and how I just love my life and stuff. So I never wanted to come across like obviously like ungrateful or even like vain. I don't know. I'm just like really like almost insecure about opening up on the internet. I'm not really sure why. I don't feel like I've always been this way. I feel like I go in waves with this. I think there's just a few things. Like I definitely have been comparing myself so much. And I don't feel like I've really dealt with comparison to the extent that I've been feeling just the past few weeks or maybe like two months. And then I'm also just kind of overwhelmed and I feel like I do a really good job at managing and like handling life and then maybe like once every six months I'll kind of have like a little breakdown type thing. I also have PMDD, I mean here we are. So with that being said, I'm gonna go to Core Power at noon and then I have therapy at one and then after that I'm gonna do a little bit more work and then my friend Taryn's coming over tonight and I'm going to cook. Hopefully I feel better honestly even just after my workout and therapy, I think that that will be helpful. I'm sorry if this vlog just feels really negative, like I really don't mean it for it to be and maybe opening up will help someone and also I I just literally cannot fake it on camera. Anyways, I pulled out the sweater. This feels very Cameron Diaz in the holiday, which is always what I'm trying to go for. I believe this is from Revolve. Yeah, it's Song of Style. 
It is my favorite sweater ever. So I'm gonna go take the dogs on a quick little walk and then head off to Core Power. I'm gonna leave my camera here because I need to charge anyways and then I'll update you guys after therapy and Core Power. Um, also, I had my cold brew from home and this is actually great and it didn't make me throw up. Oh, guys. Also, this morning I worked on you guides on Instagram for like Dallas places. So if you guys have ones that, oh, you know what I could do for LA too. If you're visiting LA for the weekend or even if you're visiting Dallas for the weekend, things like that. So far I have my favorite restaurants and then I also have favorite places to get drinks and coffee shops in the drafts. So it'll probably be up by the time this vlog goes up so you guys can check that out. Nobu was really fun. It was so good to see Jess and her dad. We had a really great time. What is happening up there? Okay, well... I'm gonna go. All right guys, so it is hours later. I worked out, I had therapy, I cried more, took a shower. I'm also drinking this matcha. It's actually really, really good. So anyways, I talked to my therapist. I feel definitely better. Just going and doing something for myself definitely made me feel a lot better. I'm definitely gonna take the weekend off and take the weekend off social media, and I think that'll be good for me. I do know like what things I need to do in order to feel better, like typically it's going to see a friend, working out, even cleaning my house sometimes, just random, I don't know. I literally have a list of things that like make me feel better. I'm sure as like time goes on, I'll share more about this experience and maybe I'll write about it in this week's newsletter, question for the class. Subscribe down below if you have it. It's three, I have plans with a friend tonight and I'm just gonna get some work done and then maybe just like lay and read and just take the rest of the day off vlogging. I think that I'll probably just like regroup and feel better, give you guys a better vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow, we actually are going to the studio. I'm going, you know, it's gonna be fun. So, you die, they're getting groomed tomorrow. Fitz, come here, look at me. Oh wow, you're starting. Okay, happy Friday guys. I feel like I'm in high school because I'm wearing a flannel. I'm really wearing a tank top. I just needed something that wasn't, I don't know guys. Honestly, I never wear this stuff. I feel like flannels are actually coming back. The only reason I'm wearing this is because it's thin and it gets really cold in the studio. Anyways, happy Friday. I'm on my way to drop the dogs off at the, I almost said the vet, you're not going to the vet, at the groomers. Um, as you can see, Fitz can't see, so clearly I haven't had my coffee yet because I really, really can't focus. Okay, this morning I use, I'm actually gonna be working with them, these Crabtree and Evelyn um, Sunbeam Glow Drops, and they double as makeup, so they can either be skincare or makeup. If I remember, I'll try to include it in this vlog, if not, it's on my Instagram stories. Oh my gosh, like it makes your skin glow like no other. Like I'm just wearing like cream, bronzer, and blush. I normally don't wear foundation day to day, but I just feel like my skin looks and feels so good. It's one of those products that's two in one, so you can use it just like straight on. You can put it in your moisturizer, um, or you could also put it in like your foundation and concealer. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna drop them off and then get Starbucks because that's what I really want and then we're going to the studio. I already shot some um, Instagram ad stuff this morning. I need to go um, shoot a like, Walgreens campaign later. Oh my gosh, happy Friday. I don't even know what I'm doing tonight. Like, I don't think I even have plans. This is my oh, favorite oh, podcast well, literally I ever. I like her eyelashes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Sometimes this is just not brown. Um, no thanks, I'm good. Perfect, have a good day. Wow. It's actually my first Starbucks all week. I feel like I was on a bad Starbucks kick for a bit. Um, and I made it all week until Friday. All right, made it to the studio. Fun, fun, gonna get set up. All right, guys, I've just been home working for the past few hours. I replaced the light bulb and it's clearly very bright. I could have sworn I ordered a cool tone light bulb. Like that's definitely gotta be fixed, but I mean, I already ordered them, so. Would you guys be interested in a vlog where I declutter my house because I need to declutter some stuff in here, my garage, and I need to go through my closet. Maybe I'll do that when I get back to New York. I might even do it this weekend if I get like inspired. Anyways, just working away. I think I'm actually gonna get this new alarm clock. If you guys watch my Instagram stories, you've been hearing me talk about it. I've actually wanted this for quite some time, but I would like to completely eliminate my phone kind of, you know, like sleeping next to me almost. I mean, not that phone sleep, but sitting next to me while I sleep. Um, and I'm trying to just create better routines that are less anxiety inducing. So I'm gonna get this alarm clock. I know it's pricey for an alarm clock. Definitely, there's a little code going on right now, but um, I think it's worth it for me. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how I like it. it looks very cool though. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, this light bulb was driving me insane, so I already ordered some different ones online. This was delivered to my house, and 
I have no idea with my actual name and my parents didn't mail it to me. So no, has this, like, what do you even do? It was like the most random thing that ever happened to me. It is 3 p.m. on Friday. I am taking the weekend off. I already deleted social media off my phone and I'm going to declutter this area really quickly because I know that it's going to make me have less anxiety. I don't know if... I feel like random things give you anxiety, but clutter is definitely like a huge one for me. So I'm going to get rid of the stuff, make it clean, and actually start the White Lotus. I feel like everyone's been talking about that. Alright, that took five minutes and I cannot tell you how much better I feel. The social apps are off of my phone. I'm actually about to cook a meal I've been wanting to make all week. And I have the white lotus on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. I'm sorry that it was like a little bit more negative. But that's just how life is sometimes. I hope it helped. And it kind of gave you guys some tips on like what I do to kind of turn a bad week around. So this weekend, social media cleanse. I'm going to go on lots of walks, spend time outside, spend time with loved ones. Get off social media for almost three full days and just not even think about work stuff or anything like that. I already feel so much better, so I feel like after this weekend, I will be like really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. I'm actually considering doing a vlog week while I'm in New York, so I might just film five vlogs and then post them after. So, so we'll see. Um, I don't know. I'm also recording a lot of episodes, so it kind of just depends on like how much footage I have. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I will talk to you guys soon. Hi. It was a one bedroom apartment downtown mm -hmm. LA. Yeah. And we had parties there all the time. All the time. All the time. I remember the balcony. I remember yeah. <laughs> um, your puppy. Is it Coco? Yeah, Coco. Coco. Yeah, I, yeah. Those were some good nights, though. Those were really fun. We had a lot of fun. Oh my God. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay.